Hail to the Comedy Kingdom! things not quite so complimentary. For this session of the Comedy Kingdom is dedicated to gardens. Oh, what gives a man more pleasure than a garden he has planted himself? And how much fun he has looking through seed catalogs so that he can see what the things he planted last year would have looked like if they had come up. Now, according to the catalogs, it's easy to grow a successful garden. Thank you. Uh, it's <laughs> simply a capacity for taking pain. The trouble is, so many of them are in the small of the back. And uh, speaking of gardens, one way to get the world to wear a path to your doorstep is to try to grow a new lawn. Ask Hank how. Of course, I'm not much of a garden expert myself. The only kind of garden I've ever had is a Peter Pan garden. You know, Peter Pan, it never grew up. <laughs> well, I w Thank you. I would like to introduce two gardening experts, the Royal Comedy Kingdom Gardeners, Harrison and Elmo. Hey, listen here, yeah, son. Yeah. What are you going around and bragging to the queen about that little old garden of yours that you've been telling about, huh? Well, listen, ugly. You know my garden is the biggest in the country. Why you keep on calling it small? Well, I've got to call it small. I'm a man that never mishandles the truth. Now, I guess you're going to tell me that your garden is bigger. Oh, boy, I'll have you know that my garden is so big it, 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 everything it raised in that garden is so big that even the potato bugs grow as big as dogs. Hmm. <laughs> you and your potato bugs. Yeah. Why, in my garden, there's 20 potato bugs on a stalk. 20 potato bugs on a stalk? Now you're talking. Now, boy, listen, the bugs in my garden are so thick that they ate up the first crop two weeks ago, and now they're sitting around in the trees and the fences waiting for me to plant them over again. <laughs> Now listen, Birdhead, mm -hmm. you don't know nothing of the ravenous nature of potato bugs. Oh, don't you? Well, I've had potato bugs walk right into my kitchen and yank red hot potatoes right out of the <laughs> oh, Waiting for you to plant a second crop. <laughs> waiting, what do you well, well, I'll admit that you must have some potato bugs in your garden. Uh -huh. but, but look at the melons that I raise in my garden. Melon. I, I suppose you raise watermelons in yours. No, I don't. No. You see, the soil in my garden is so fertile that the vines grow so fast that they wear out the melons, dragging them over the ground. <laughs> <before> <laughs> the ground. Boy, and, and look at the cabbages that I raise in my garden. What about them? Boy, why the cabbages is so big that one day some tourists was passing by, uh -huh. and when they looked over and saw my large cabbages, they stood there spellbound and couldn't see. 
You don't mean to tell me. Yes, sir, boy. And while they were standing there looking at them large cabbages that I raised, uh -huh. a sudden rainstorm come up, and would you believe it, those tourists went over and stood under the leaves of one of them that cabbages, and not a drop of rain ever touched them. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good-sized cabbage, all right. Yeah. But listen here, Ugly. Uh -huh. I got a sideline I worked on by my garden. Oh, you got a sideline? Yes, sir, son. I'm a boiler maker. You a boiler maker? I just finished a large boiler out by my garden. You did? It was so big, it took 100 pounds of steel just to make one rivet for that boiler. Oh, man. And, son, that boiler is so tall, it took one man half a day to climb to the top of it. You really? Goodness, that is the boiler? Yes, sir. Mm. Well, I dropped my hammer down in that boiler one morning, and we didn't hear the echo when it hit the bottom until quitting time. <laughs> <laughs> well, son, that boiler is so big, it holds 1,800,000 gallons of water at one time. Yeah, boy, what in the world did you build such a large boiler for? To boil one of them cabbage you raise in your garden. <laughs> <that's> <laughs> Garden of Tomorrow is brought to us by Paul Keith. Why should we take the promises tomorrow may not pay when we can have the happiness that crowds our lives today? In the garden of tomorrow, will the roses be? Will we find relief from sorrow? Will there be more sunshine there? For each love flower will blossom, some will die and Subject, remember the sweet, loving couple who lived right next door to the royal palace of the Comedy Kingdom. Oh, oh look, uh, there's a husband out working in the garden. Oh, isn't that domestic? My, he looks so cheerful and full of the spirit of nature. Let's just sneak over there and watch him as he works so cheerily in his garden. Darn these rocks. I don't know why I ever started a garden anyway. Fool business. All the vegetables we've ever got out of this two-foot pot won't make a good bowl of soup. Ow, ouch, darn it, darn it. Oh, no, John. Yeah. Oh, look what I brought home. Yeah? Goodness, what's that awful odor? Odor? Fertilizer. Fertilizer? For the land's sake. Yep, that's right. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, what did you bring home? My gosh, another plant. Mm-hmm, it's a century plant. Yeah? And I asked the man if he'd guarantee that it would bloom in a hundred years, yeah. and do you know what he said? No. He said if it didn't, just to bring it back, and he'd refund my money. Wasn't that nice? Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, Joe? Yeah? Uh, Professor Google Hunt from the Agricultural College, you know the man next door? Yeah. Well, he was here today, looking our garden over, and he said you were doing it all wrong. Yeah. Oh, he did, did he? Uh, yes. Now, for instance, that tree there. Yeah, what about it? He said he'd be surprised if you got ten pounds of prunes from that tree this year. Well, so would I. It's an apple tree. Oh, <laughs> really? Look, Joe, why did it bend over so far? Well, if you were as full of green apples as that tree, you'd bend over, too. <laughs> Isn't it the truth? Oh, what's this cute little plant here, Joe? Hmm? Oh, that's a tobacco plant. A tobacco plant? Hmm. Oh, isn't that marvelous? How long will it be before the cigars are ripe? Oh, well, uh, for the love oh, of my... Oh, it's 
isn't this a darling plant? Mm. What is it, Joe? Oh, I don't know exactly. It belongs to the uh, Begonia family. Oh, oh, and we're just keeping it for them while they're away. Isn't that sweet? Keeping it for the, the Begonia family. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Uh, oh, Joe, look here. Mm. What? Why, look, you're all kinds of little plants coming up. All different. What are they, Joe? It's a salad. A salad? <laughs> How exciting. Tell me, Joe, which is the chicken and which is the lobster? Mm. If you see any feathers, that's the chicken. Oh, really? Oh, Joe, you just know everything, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. Oh, what's this cute little thing here? It's a weed. A weed? How do you tell the difference between the salad plants and the weeds, Joe? Well, you pull them all out of the ground, and those that come up again are the weeds. Oh, isn't that marvelous? Oh, look, Joe. What? Why, this place over here, it looks like you planted something, but nothing's growing. Oh, the potatoes in there. They'll be up pretty soon. Potatoes. Mm. Isn't that marvelous? Mm. Uh, Hey, 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 Edna, for the love of Pete, what, what are you doing with that uh, big roller? Don't roll it over the potato oh, patch like that. What's the idea? Well, Joe, I, I was just trying to help. Huh? I thought it'd be nice to have mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Oh. I recall a summer day when you and I had strolled away. And suddenly a storm drew nigh. Seeking shelter from the rain, we hurried down a little lane and found a lovely spot nearby. Just a garden in the rain, low to a little leafy lane. Kingdom, I want to give a last word of advice to the amateur gardeners. The best way to tell the vegetables from the weeds is to watch your neighbor's chickens. They know. <laughs> <laughs>